Julia Cousins, and I'm an artist. My name is Julia Cousins, and um, I'm an artist, a visual artist, who uh, lives and works in the Sacramento Delta. And I'm just delighted to speak about this endearing, charming uh, piece by Claire Rojas. Um, it's entitled Maddie. And um, when I was given the opportunity of selecting a work, um, I went directly to this piece um, for its acute graphic energy. Um, the line is just gorgeous. She, um, this is an etching, uh, it's an aqua tint, and it's as though she has um, stitched these lines uh, and that in every line she has intended it, that she has felt its presence, that she has evaluated how much does this hair weigh. She was absolutely connected to the making of this piece. It is, um, it has extreme um, presence. You feel uh, this, this dog, yet he's beyond sort of, he's kind of iconic. Um, there is, she has paid um, precise attention to, you know, the shape of the nose, the, the, you know, the count of the whiskers, that particular whisker as opposed to that <laughs> particular whisker. And so with this specificity, she has brought this creature into extreme focus. And it reminds me in a weird way of, uh, of a Holbein uh, portrait. And she has elevated this dog to be our equal. That um, she has, um, you know, there is a there is a nobility, a regal bearing. Um, there is a strong tradition of dogs in art. Um, you know, sometimes a dog is just a dog. <laughs> but um, and you know, I profess to have a extreme affection for dogs. So. <laughs> but, um, but dogs in art have often been, um, you know, they, they can signify uh, nobility and royalty. They can signify goodness and loyalty and fidelity. Um, and are sort of our companion. Um, and what I, you know, I'm, I'm drawn to, again, is that notion of the equality. Um, that, that she sets this dog, um, Maddie, to our to our level, or we we are we are risen to the level of this dog's um, being and, and presence. Um, Claire Rojas is a uh, contemporary um, artist working in the San Francisco Bay Area. She's a very interesting artist. Um, I should say that this is also another piece of hers, and it's a very nice um, juxtaposition of work. Um, she is a filmmaker, she is a musician. She, um, I think she's from the Midwest and got her undergraduate degree at um, RISD and her graduate degree in, uh, at the Art Institute in Chicago and teaches, I think she teaches at the Art Institute in San Francisco. But she's often been associated with um, such artists as Barry McGee, um, Margaret Gillen-Gallen, um, for this sort of um, street uh, art, mural art, uh, folk art, and you know this is this is sort of a uh, like a core sample from her larger work. She um, she works in a kind of folk tradition and exploits ideas from um, design and um, is interested in the um, the relationship and the play of male, female, and animal in the culture and in, in, our, in our, our hierarchy of nature. Um, and she is always very crisp 
her um, this she, she's very precise flat um, this is actually quite dimensional although as a drawing as a uh, print it is still relatively uh, flat um, it's almost like an outline <coughs> as she's done here with that sort of Pennsylvania Dutch motif um, <coughs> But it's an extremely powerful work. And I should say also that much of her work is small. Much of her work is smaller than this. And you know, there's a wonderful array of work in the gallery. But uh, in my opinion, this small work has tremendous power um, and pull. And I think it's, it's absolutely endearing. And I think Maddie is a creature to be revered. Thank <laughs> you.